It is loud as we welcome you back to Red October here in Philadelphia. Just about set for the first pitch between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. It is sold out. It may be loud in Milwaukee. There's another adjective for what's about to happen in this building. It's Reese Hoskins who is back with the Phillies to throw out the first pitch tonight. As if this sellout crowd needed more to cheer about, they bring back one of their favorites. There's a chance if they make it to the World Series, he may be playing. The goal of this team to get back to the World Series, Marlins Phillies, starts now. 33 year old and ready to be carried by this crowd, which has been electric since the gates opened two and a half hours ago. It'll be Wheeler against Luis Arise to start this, the batting champion with a 354 average. All right, slaps one to left field, coming hard, making the catch out there in left field is Christian Pache. And there's one down. Strikeout one for Wheeler. He caught him looking. That's the one thing you don't want. Zach Wheeler, if you're the Miami Marlins, to have already in the first inning the fastball, pinpoint control, and the slider to break for a strike. 3 and 0 to Bell. Swinging in that one. Glove by Stark. Bouncer, and he gets it to Harper in time. A 10 pitch inning for Zach Wheeler. Two good defensive plays and a punch out. Jesus Lazardo grew up rooting for the. Florida Marlins, now of course the Miami Marlins, and what an opportunity this is for him. Schwarber hits it hard, that's through into right. He doesn't hit many of those, a sub 200 batting average, but there he is with a single to lead it off. He really struggled in his first year of that $300 million deal early, and then the Philly fans on August 4th gave him a we need you kind of standing ovation. 2-2 Two -two ripped down the line. Schwarber to third, he's being held there, double for Turner, and this place is bumping. And the Phils in business here in the bottom of the first. And the Phils have a chance to take the upper hand right in the get-go. And this one to right, and it is going to be caught out there by Sanchez. Schwarber is held at third, and that's a questionable call. Schwarber was coming down the line, and Dusty Wathen held him up. With Bryce Harper up next, Luzardo's one strikeout away from at least being one batter of getting and ending this little rally here. Swing and a miss. Great job by Luzardo, who's now an out away from getting out of a second and third no out situation. Muto to center field. Chisholm coming, coming, and he's got to make the catch. How about Jesus Luzardo? Second and third, nobody out. He ends up giving up no runs for his hit for Miami tonight. It's the other way that Sanchez goes. So a man aboard, Sanchez, not a big threat to run. John Birdie, the number eight hitter in the lineup. Good pitch there, a sweeper from Wheeler, his second strikeout. With Harper holding Sanchez, plenty of room on that right side of the infield for a ground ball to get through. This one up the middle. Stott steps on the bag, throws to first. There is the double play. Sides retired and Zach Wheeler has faced the minimum through the first three innings tonight. Only one hit allowed. Phil's nothing and the Marlins nothing. Bottom three in the bottom of the order now for the Phillies in Rojas to lead off and then back to Schwarber at the top. And he lines one in the left field. What a good at bat from Johan Rojas. He hit the slider and the number nine man aboard with nobody out. He's going to bring up Kyle Schwarber. Way outside in the dirt and he took right off and he's at second base. Wild pitch charge to Lazardo. Good hey. pitch Schwarber struck out. Lazardo strikeout number four. And here comes Turner. Turner sky high on the infield. Arise makes the play two down. Phillies are 0 for 5 with runners in scoring position 0 for 4 with less than two outs. They have two outs and here's Bohm. That one is fair down the line. Bohm's going to drive in a run. Here comes Rojas. He heads to second. 1-0 Philadelphia. He drove in 97 runs in the regular season. He was their most productive and prolific player with runners in scoring position and he delivers here one away here in the fourth Zolaire went down looking on strikes he took a breaking ball with two strikes his last time up Real Muta holds on to it and Zach Wheeler's got strikeout number three a two out single for Josh Bell here in the fourth inning that'll bring Jazz Chisholm Jr. to the plate got him 
comes swinging. Wheeler picks up strikeout number four. He went with the curveball. And he has thrown only 46 pitches to get through four innings. Muto will line one in the left field and lead off this inning with a single. Third time the leadoff man's been on for Philadelphia. This one a little blooper, and it's going to fall. Fair ball in right. He's hustling to second. To third goes Rio Muto. He dives in safe. Well, that's how you end any type of postseason funk with a little double blooper down the line and right. And the second time the Phillies have runners at second and third to start an inning. And here's Bryson Stott. He struck out his first time. Stott up the middle. That's going to bring in Rio Muto. Castellanos is coming home. Here's the throw. <laughs> Fortes was able to grab it and make the tag. Castiano stumbled coming around third just a little bit, but it's 2 0 Phillies. So Rudder at second, one out, and here's Pache. Up the middle and through. RBI for Pache, a big hit for somebody who hasn't had many. 3 0 Phillies. John Birdie leads things off as Zach Wheeler will begin the sixth inning with 62 pitches. Swing and a miss, and that's another strikeout for Wheeler, number five. And now Fortes, the number nine hitter, will stand in. That's a swing and a miss. Back to back punch outs, now six. And he's just on right now, and this is going to be the test, and this is what number ones are about. It's about going through the order, not twice. But a third time, and Lisa Rise is about to start this third time right now. On the ground, Turner, two hopper charges, Arise isn't moving well, he's gone. And another very good inning for Wheeler. Wheeler has been outstanding, he's gone six innings of just two hit ball, no runs, no walks, five strikeouts. Swing and a miss, struck him out with a breaking ball. Number seven on the night for Zach Wheeler. Brings up the first baseman, Josh Bell. Bell hooks this one into the corner. Castellanos goes over. He will now pick it up and fire to second. Bell is in there with a double. And Bell in a scoring position with one down. Good spot from Chisholm now. Up. Boom! Called at 96 at the knees. Chisholm gone. Strikeout number eight for Wheeler. That's Alvarado warming the crowd. 45,662 on their feet trying to help Wheeler get through the seventh. The second first base is unoccupied. Is Wheeler going to beat him? No. Berger gets there. That was one of those plays where Harper thought he had a chance to get it. It left first base open. Men on the corners and the tying run will come to the plate for Miami. No team has been better than the Marlins when they're down three yeah. going into the seventh inning. Major League Baseball. On the ground, Boehm has it from his knees. Safe. What an effort by Bohm, but great hustle by De La Cruz. The Marlins are on the board. It's 3-1. What an effort by De La Cruz, and what an effort for Wheeler, who's going to be taken out of the game, and Wheeler's night is over. Listen to the ovation. The Marlins doing what the Marlins do, try to come back late. So Alvarado now in the lefty to face a, a postseason stud, Yuli Gurriel off the bench for the Marlins. Two pitches, two strikes. That one gets away from Leo Muto, and both Berger and De La Cruz move up 90 feet. That's huge right there. Time run now in scoring position, and Yuli, who came up with a big hit in the suspended game in New York, trying to do the same right here. The one-two. Swinging Real Muto pumps his fist and so does Alvarado. And the Marlins will strand two. We're back with Alvarado still on the bump. All sorts of adrenaline when he came off the mound. The Marlins know one thing this is their inning. It's been their inning the entire year. 95 runs they have scored in the eighth inning more than any other inning. 3 2. Two. Oh, strike three. Birdie can't believe it. That hit the spot. Watch Real Muto right here. Extend it and then present it. Left on left now for Alvarado and Arise. He can get on, so there would be the tying run. And it will not be 0 for 4. Arise delivers as he goes the other way and has just now made it to first base. Alvarado comes out. Bullpen active. 
Soler and his 36 homers coming up on the ground. Turner will go to second, and that is where Arise with that gimpy ankle is thrown out by a lot. And that will finish off the fish here in the top of the eighth. Jeff Hoffman gets his man. Bryce Harper will lead off here in the bottom of the eighth inning, and he'll do so against lefty Stephen Okert. Harper up, Harper on. Okert came in to pitch, and Bryce Harper, the last Philadelphia Philly who needed to get a hit, now has a hit tonight, so they all have at least a hit. The leadoff man has been aboard a lot for Philadelphia tonight. Castellanos now with one down. Castellanos hooks that one. It's going to get down and go to the wall. Harper, he's being held. He runs through that sign, and he's safe. And Castellanos into third. Boy, Waffen put his hands up, and Harper said, yellow light, I'm going through it, and he scores the fourth run for Philadelphia. If there is a time to run through a sign, that's the time right there, especially when you're up two. And it's only going to get louder here as Kimbrell tries to get the last three outs and give Philadelphia a 1-0 lead in this wild card series. Bell rips this thing to right. Castellanos runs out of room. Off the wall, Bell digging. And here's the throw, and he is safe. Castellanos played it beautifully. Didn't look like he got everything he wanted on that throw, and Bell back-to-back -back doubles. Two balls, no strikes. And Chisholm swings it one and pops it up on the infield. One out. That was a huge out for Kimbrell. Berger singled. Remember the infield singles that haunted the Phillies a couple of innings ago by both Berger and De La Cruz. On the ground, Bohm gets the high hop. And Berger is out. One out away, Philadelphia from taking game one. It'll be Brian De La Cruz. You said that there wasn't an empty seat. There still is no empty seats. 3-2 in the hole. Bohm is over there. He will flip to first. And the Phillies will win game one, 4-1. to one. Kimbrell picks up the save. Wheeler picks up the win. They all picked up at least a hit. 11 in the game for Philadelphia. And they get off to a great start.